What is up, everybody? Today we've got yet another battle. Uh, this one is against my friend William. Uh, this was for the same tourna- uh, tournament, I believe, the other battle was for, the other 6 for 6 But uh, I believe I bring the same team, except maybe I take... I, I totally forgot I, to look at the, f- at the beginning of this to see who I brought, but... Um, yeah, so he starts out with this Halucha, and I'm thinking, what's this thing gonna do to me? So I go for the Spore first turn, and uh, it flings a King's Rock at me, which is interesting, something I've never seen before. But, you know, thinking about it, it has a burden, and fling is a guaranteed uh, flinch, and yeah, it's actually a pretty good strategy, considering. So, um, yeah. I do King Shield because I figured it was going to attack me. It attacks me, it lowers his attacks, but then something I didn't see coming is he predicted me to switch out. So he goes for Swagger. Crazy. But it turns out his Swagger did not really come into much play. Because here I am at plus two attack, a plus two attack Scizor. And both my attacks land. I knew Bullet Punch would outspeed him. He doesn't, I don't think he gets any priority. So, unfortunately, it didn't work in his favor, but kudos to the cool set that he used. So I see this talent flame, and I'm like, ah, I gotta get out of here. Flare Blitz was a pretty obvious choice, but I don't really have much of a safe switching, I guess you would say. So I, I just send out Smeargo for the death, and uh, yeah, Smeargo goes down. But he turned out to use Brave Bird, which was I, interesting, I guess. I thought I, he might have... um figured that I would stay in, maybe, because I had plus two, I don't know. I was still confused, not worth the risk. So I bring in Azumarill, I knew he would go straight out of there, so I attack. Um, now I thought it was gonna belly drum, but I guess my thinking behind that was I still didn't have a citrus berry for this guy, and I had no idea what he'd bring in, because I knew he would switch, so I didn't want to risk anything like stupid. So who goes for the superpower now? I gotta say, I like the concept of Malamar. Contrary superpower is awesome. But what I don't like is its desi- design. I don't know why. Like, I like the top half, but when you get to the like, little uh, belly where the dots are, it's a little, it's like, it's almost blurry to me. But yeah, so that's my opinion. So I go for the Aqua Jet because I figure this guy's probably gonna use Sleep Powder, which he does. I, I know that he was gonna do it because I know his set, <laughs> but um, I, I thought it would KO, but um, I guess it didn't really matter because in the end I believe he still had Focus Sash anyway. So I switch out because uh, we play with uh, Sleep Claws on, because this isn't VGC. Nothing against VGC, you know I like VGC, I play VGC. But um, God, I got, I got attacked by a Dark Ride today in random battles, and I thought it was gonna be cool, you know, I was gonna show off my Shuckle, the thing just kept dark voiding me, and I, I had to forfeit because I couldn't kill it, and it was really annoying. That's that's what you get for random battling, huh? But yeah, I mean these past few turns have been pretty obvious. You know, attack here, attack there. Bullet punch would have KO'd the um, pavilion, so I guess good for him getting out of there real quick. Uh, he mega mega evolves. I roost. I don't really fear a lot of what he has. I know he's strong and everything, but I resist everything he throws at me except for Sucker Punch. So I just, I figured this is a safe time to just boost up. And now you can tell actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Scizor is now my Mega, so there is no Mega Kangaskhan anymore. And this was, this must not have been the same tournament or the same day. So yeah, um, I was really hoping that Bullet Punch would KO. I don't know why I thought it would. I guess maybe it's because it was neutral. I think it's neutral. Right? Fair is weak to steel, steel resists steel, so it's neutral. But uh, he takes me out with player off, and uh, there goes my scissor. I love scissor. I love scissor. And um, I saw the sucker punch inbound, so I went for the brave bird. I don't know if he went for sucker punch. I don't know if he went for iron head. I don't know if he went for player off. But better safe than sorry. In my book. You know? And, you know, Brave Bird did kill, so there's always that. So he sends out his Espeon. I t- 
totally forgot these things do dual screens. But, um, I wasn't really sure what it was going to do, but I knew it can't KO me, so I went for a Sword Stance just in case. And it goes for the Psychic, and this is, this is why I, th like, I, I knew it was a two-hit KO, but why I went for a second Sword Stance, I have no idea. I really don't. I mean, I believe Reflect boosts defenses by 50%. And times two attack is fifty. Not a fifty. It's like double, right? Because that's times two. That that makes sense. And so I figured, okay, now I'm at neutral. So I guess another plus two would help. Who knows? Here, I don't know if I lost the speed tie or if he just runs max speed. Who knows? But had I gone first. He would have been out of there, no ends ifs or buts, but I would have died to recoil, so my talent flame was out that round anyway. I bring in my X Bloud, because I th I kind of just wanted to test to see if I would survive a Brave Bird. Um X Bloud's a really cool guy, but I don't know, he's been kinda lackluster in my playtesting and stuff. But um I run max HP and max special attack. And I actually have another X Bloud that I bred up for a trick room team. For doubles, even, and then I realized Boom Burst hits everything. Everything. Yeah. Bad idea. So, since as a pavilion, I leave X Blood in for fodder. I don't know. I didn't really. I wasn't. Well, he wasn't gonna go for support because I think I still have something sleeping. But, um. Eh, I don't know. I just stayed in, hoping for the best. And I bring out my Kingdra, and man, do I love this Kingdra set. Now. It never works. I can never get it set up. But it's, um, I believe I saw it on Pokeaim MD's channel, maybe. But, yeah. Um, why does this video go on forever? Oh, I forgot to stop recording. That's fine, I'll keep talking. Um, I saw the set on Pokeaim MD's channel, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, um, it's Sniper Kingdra. It's it has focus energy, it has sniper, and it has scope lens. And what's cool about that set is that it um because of the new mechanics and critical hits, it even though it does it's not two times damage anymore, it's 1.5 times I believe. Um or it's something like that. But with sniper it becomes 2.25 which is stronger than a plus two boost, which is amazing. But even better than that, even though you can't boost further than 2.25 or whatever that number is, let's take Draco Meteor, for example. It's a really strong special dragon attack, and, but it lowers your special attack after using it. Now what's great about Kingdra is it serves as, it serves two purposes. The Draco Meteor, no matter how many times it lowers a special attack, crits ignore any negative negative stat, uh, negative stat, I guess, boosts or reductions. So if I'm at negative four special attack, I'm still going to hit as if I'm at normal negative attack using a times 2.25 attacks. So that's just ridiculous. And on top of that, say we have... A stockpiling Snorlax on the other side. Let's say it's at plus three special defense. I'm still gonna hit it as if it has no pluses in any of its defenses. So it's just a monster, but it's sort of difficult to set up. You know, I mean, Kingdra is decently bulky, but not bulky enough to survive a lot of strong attacks. Like, I don't know if it would survive at full HP from a Talonflame Bur Brave Bird. I mean, it probably would actually come to think of it, but then next turn I wouldn't be able to do anything about it. So, with that, I say, have a good day, and, um, yeah, there'll be more battles coming soon. I, fin I finished breeding and training up my uh, Trick Room team for doubles the other day, and I went on a bit of a battling spree. I got, I think, maybe one battle out of five that were good, especially after that legendary battle. That was so annoying, but, um... Yeah, I appreciate that you're still watching and listening to me. Um, I'm, I wanted to do a showdown, like, 
showdown Saturdays where I just live stream showdown. But um, I had to sign up for a TA in studio, and that that's the time that I have the most free. So I might move it to Sundays. I might do it Saturday nights. I don't know yet. We will see. Um, be sure to check out my Pixelmon stuff. That's pretty cool. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. I'm trying to keep this channel alive. I'm trying to... Uh, I want to put out at least two videos a day. So, that'd be cool. And uh, with that, I guess I can say, finally, goodbye. Have a good day, night, evening, morning, wherever, what time, whatever time you're viewing this at. And uh, hope to see you at the next video. See ya.